you stay back there and watch the internet's real best duo work. All right, buddy? I don't give a fuck. I don't want to fucking hit shit right now. It's too old to be doing that. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. We don't vacation a lot. I shoot a lot of content. We shoot a lot of podcasts. But this is like our one vacation. I was thinking to myself, yo, I could take this whole week off. But then I thought to myself, how could I go on this beautiful adventure and not share it with you guys? So here we are. We're fucking shooting content. What's up, guys? I'm Jeff. I'm a retired stuntman. Ex-con. Recovering addict. Okay, that seems like enough about yourself. But what are you trying to get out of this trip? Um, soul searching. I want to find myself. I want to bond with new friends my new squad people love it by the way the hottest yeah. duo on youtube right now which is kind of embarrassing to say because we're both in our 30s uh, my name's kyle um i'm jeff shooter for a living what do you intend on getting out of this trip uh finding some weed <laughs> maybe you should try to find some sun <laughs> what an asshole dude whoa 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 you don't talk to me like that buddy it's been 12 years since i last abused narcotics so i don't need a rehab why you sweat so much? 92 degrees that's why i'm sweating not all of us are fucking lizards who live in an exoskeleton made of white paint all right what's up i'm jake paul i'm a professional boxer and i came on this vacation to just relax so i'll be i'll be drinking and fucking i'm worried about the comment i made earlier what the one the where comment? i said that i was drinking and fucking we're doing so much more than those well, things. Well, you've been drinking and fucking. It's true. Honestly, bro, honestly. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough week. I mean, Nancy Pelosi got some real milkers. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi got big dick energy. Yeah, 100%. She might even have a dick in general. Yeah, 100%. She might even have a, a dick like he said. Maybe just cut the camera for a while. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. All right, the final days of summer are upon us, and the fall is coming fast. Speaking of coming fast, so are you in the bedroom, and everybody knows it. If I talked to the last girl you hooked up with, she'd probably say you got to your destination faster than the SR-71 Blackbird. She'd probably also say that you were over faster than KSI's last fight. Another party shot hit. Luckily for you, today's video is sponsored by Roman, an online men's health company, and their famous swipes, the secret to longer lasting sex. Roman swipes are a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. Swipes are super easy to use. You just pull it out of the package, wipe it on your little speed racer, let it dry, and you're good to go. And best of all, you don't need to go to a doctor or wait in line at the pharmacy, and they ship to your house in discreet packaging. So do yourself a favor, go to getroman.com forward slash Mike to get $10 off your first order of swipes, plus free two-day shipping, Make sure you click the link in the description so you can start having longer lasting sex and let's get back to the night shift, baby First of all, show them the pool. Look at that pool. The interesting part is that there's then a lower villa This second pool is actually a hot tub. This whole fucking thing is a hot tub that overlooks the AGNC Is that how you say it or no? GNC, it's the vitamin supplement store? Not GNC. No, the uh, GNC. There's a very treacherous walk down to the water Look at that water. The blues are beautiful blues look out here you can see the water it's beautiful blue water it's crystal blue some would say sky blue some would say the easiest way to describe it is like a sky blue look at the architecture here the architecture really here is awesome. incredible a lot of people on the internet right now saying we're youtube's best duo bro i don't give a fuck i'm not even a human being anymore i'm just a youtube content machine you know i can't thank you enough look at me now i own this shit baby it's like jersey shore but a little nicer why is he wearing a robe in the ocean <laughs> it looks like jesus <laughs> Look at me, I'm like the wife in Breaking Bad. Can you imagine if you guys teamed up? You guys would definitely be the best duo on YouTube. Try a bit real quick. Well, let's do this with accents. <laughs> let's be French. I'll be Australian. Uh, this house is so expensive. Thank you for allowing me to stay here with my uh, cameraman. You sound like David. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the water is so nice and... Everything just looks so beautiful. What do you have to say back, French boy? <laughs> Shut up, stupid, stupid American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you laughing at? You have extra cigarette? To give me a cigarette. I do not. Yeah, what, am I, what is this accent? It's becoming like Armenian now. <laughs> oh, it's our friend, Mr. Greek Driver Man. Say hello to the vlog. Oh, photo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greek Driver Man, have you ever been to Alamagoo? Yes, Alamagoo. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. He's great. One of the girls that's coming to this party right now. I got a little bit of a crush on. I want to try to offer uh, offer Cindy the your hand family. in marriage, yes. the family channel package. Yeah. So you're trying to offer him. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you stay back there and watch the internet's real best duo work. All right, buddy. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to fucking hit shit I'm right now. Soul. I'm a rogue warrior. I'll be fucking solo. <laughs> Go ahead, your boy's back for now, but he's leaving in Puerto Rico in two, three days. So you're done. You're back on your own. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to this club called Alamagoo. This is what the clubs look like in Mykonos. And then turn around. Show them what's behind us. Uh, you want to put this in party, my dog? Ooh. Yo, I told you guys that I was gonna try to propose to Cindy today. I don't think it's gonna happen because it's too loud. This is your first time on the night shift? Fuck, it's not gonna fucking work. No one can hear what I'm fucking saying. What are you saying? Just say hi to the night shift. Say hi. Hi! Oh my god, I can't. Yo. Oh, you! What was that? Only Jeff keeps trying to get his products into my content, so I threw it off a cliff. And you wouldn't account. do that with Prime ever, and you got zero percent of that company, you little thick rider. How much percentage of the company of Jeff's mommy do I have? I mean, we haven't discussed that yet, but it's definitely something we can talk about in the future. I'm open to you know. Did it just shrink because I threw it off a cliff? Absolutely, you just <laughs> Off a cliff. Sorry. If you did this, it would have been hilarious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You want a cup of coffee? It drops right there. I have a cup of coffee. Okay. Imagine I took his book and I fucking pissed on it. You did do something with my book one time. I think I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I gave, I re-gifted it to somebody. <laughs> We've been no, eating a lot of food. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling like a mix of Jason Nash and Jonah right now. Why are you pointing the camera at him when I'm talking? This is why you're being, repl well, not Why? replaced. Sorry, this is why you're being promoted my, to talent. Right, Stop, tell, David, I'm saying a nice audience, thing about you. Tell the audience that my camera work does matter to you. You're oh, actually pissing me off, whoa, What's your problem? Whoa, You're there, complaining. All you do is oh, complain today. Well, well, no. Yeah, Yo, this you. is the real you. shit that you don't well, see on the night shift. No. There's actually drama all the time. No, it's, it's falling not, apart. No, it looks perfect. No, like, oh, I get a million views an episode. It's falling apart. Shit's done here. I give it two months. All I said was, if you can please point the camera at the person talking. It was a request. Distracted by that. Okay, fair enough. Thank Thank you. I oh, just, yeah. just clear it. Hey, film that. Just yeah! Back when I was dead broke, I would see it in fucking travel magazines and shit like that. Come to fucking Mykonos, Greece when I was fucking banging dope in my nose, thinking I was never gonna leave New Haven, Connecticut. It's another one of those inspirational moments for you guys. Dude, life changes and moves quickly. You bust your ass, start new things, try new things. You can get run over by a Mexican, just like me in Greece. You're with your girl, you don't even need to look this good. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, I do, bro. I need to impress that girl every day, because That's if true. I don't, she's gonna leave me for another sexy guy. Okay, so we're going to a place called Scorpios tonight. It's evidently the spot in Mykonos, correct? The spot, the ratio is around four to one. So there's literally two hours of traffic, people waiting in line to drive up to the place. It's like Coachella, but at Mykonos. It's, it's literally How much Coachella, times Tulum, times Pornhub. Okay, real question for you. What was the minimum table? I think it's around 30K, but uh, you guys are celebrities, so I think you got it for 10, I don't know. I've been to this place <laughs> since July 1st, every single Sunday, and I went dressed like this one day, and I was like, oh, I'm flexing, I'm gonna get pussy tonight. <laughs> and I overheated. <laughs> I mean, I look good. You look fantastic. Look great, no. You look like if you rolled up to Bucharest right now, or Prague. <laughs> Bro, if you went out in Prague right now, dude, you would clean up, bro. And what are you even gonna clean up? You got a hot girl inside yeah. who only wants your padangling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You can wear a garbage bag, and you're still gonna come home to a sweet six foot three piece of arse. She's, she could be six five, six six. She's Lisa Leslie. Logan is dating the WNBA's set best center <laughs> of all time. Where's the boat? Right here. Some real European yeah, shit. Get, the, get out of my face, bro. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. Dude, you could be a fucking Cartier sponsored model, bro. Look at this kid, bro. Look at this problem. Watch those ankles. Watch those knees. What's up, brother? How you doing? Who would have thought two scumbags, one from Staten Island, one from Connecticut, gonna be taking a boat to the, the hottest club in all of Europe? Being Logan Paul's friend pays off. Logan Paul and David Dobrik, thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Let's try that one more yeah, time. Yeah, see, he, no, let me excite some of you. He makes the Logan Paul's friend joke more than anybody. But whenever I say that David Dobrik's friend, he gets very upset. He doesn't like that. Because we're not much. friends. I don't know. You want me to not be friends with him? Will you stop making the joke? I'll make I'll stop making the joke, yeah. <laughs> no, because we're not. He doesn't friends. like it. Bro, look at that girl in the blue. Yo, do you think that I could find a wife here tonight? You think it'll be a wife or a hooker? You think? Bro, <laughs> everyone's here with a sponsor, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, Jeff, is this a montage? 
Yeah, it's just a montage. There's no audio. What? It's a montage. No flash. No flash. Wait, now it's a flash montage. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. What were you born as? I was born as a Cuban. Yes. My dad worked in real estate. My videographer is fucking a Russian hooker right now. I'm draped in fine linens <laughs> and white pants. Like, I'm changing. I'm becoming European. You've been wearing those shoes so long. Travis Scott was canceled, uncanceled, cool again, not cool again. They're so old. Like, it's like a. I don't know what they are. What do you need? I do need new shoes so bad. Yes. I need some fucking rest. I got a big burger of you tomorrow. I've never heard of a burger on this island, by the way. It's gonna be terrible. Let's make a guess what it is. I guarantee it's a 3.5. Whoa! That low? No one on this trip, no one here right now has any business doing a burger review. I got the OG burger reviewer with me, Logan, and Mexican. That's racist. Bro. Yeah, it's racist because he's actually Mexican. Yeah. Wait, why no, is he racist? racist? Bro, I took it offense. Goody's Burger House. I did my research, scientific analysis, empirical evidence. One thing I will say right off the bat, burger and fries, same container. Just for that reason. <laughs> you have created a much simpler review process for me. I like this. Grease. Not a burger place. This is the first place I've seen with an American name. Most of them are just those Greek symbols that no one even <laughs> understands what they are. No, but I see that's racist. Yeah, what yeah, isn't yep, racist yep. at this point? Uh, sesame bun. <laughs> God almighty, bro. <laughs> Angus beef, American cheese, pickle. They're calling it pickle sauce. You can see the slices of pickles in there. Ketchup, mustard. What are your thoughts before we go uh, into this? Or do you have no, any no, thoughts? I, do you I, have thoughts? I have no thoughts. Um, I mean, you're you're a sorry excuse of a human, a shell of what you once were. If you were in the, the ring with Floyd right now, he would eat your face off. Can we just eat the burger, Yeah, Mike? sure. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God. Do something quickly. <laughs> Let's try the fries. <laughs> The fries are really good. Have one of the fries. Have one of the fries. I, I did already. They're okay. Have another one. These are delicious French fries. This patty. Oh my god. Con oh my god. Concerns me. Feels like it was taken out of a Barbie doll house and smashed in between two shit patty buns. Okay, if you were to buy a air conditioner off Amazon, it looks like what they would put on the sides and top of it to protect it from being damaged while it was shipping. The bun, the sauce, the ketchup, it's edible, but something about that patty. For anybody watching this from Greece, anybody who's visited Mykonos, this is not their fucking thing. Bro, we're on a deserted island. There's not even grass. Where are they getting the cows they said from? Grass fed. What They're the shipping the cows in from fucking Prague. Every other ounce of food on this island has been like some of the best I've had on vacation. Incredible. It's like best food ever. Mediterranean food is so good. Stick to the shrimp, the sea urchin, the oysters, the lobster. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a sausage patty from a third grade lunchroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got that it sausage patty vibes. It tastes like what a Greek person, if a Greek person. No, it does. tastes like a Greek person. No, That's what it does. He's right. No, he's right. No, a Mediterranean if you ground person. up a Greek person. <laughs> it, no, you are exactly right. David, that is the person. smartest. Yes, a Mediterranean person. Thank you. Doing so, a Doing acrobats. He's not yes. American. All right, anyway, but I'm hearing the veggie burger is incredible. The French fries are incredible. They have these like pinkity drinkity uh, margaritas. Incredible. This place has got a lot to offer. Burgers are not one of those things. <laughs> Goody's Burger House, 3.6. Let's get oh the fuck God. out of here. <laughs> get fucked. Wow. News to me. Goody's Burger Shop is the largest fast food restaurant in Greece. I had no fucking idea. It's like the McDonald's of Greece. 127 locations here. A bunch of North Macedonia, some in Albania. Who the fuck would have known? I had no idea. Get the chicken nuggets. Get the pink fucking Margarita, to have a good time, get some french fries, but just God almighty. Super duper vacation, the island of Mykonos, beautiful place. Like I said earlier in the vlog, we don't get a lot of chances to take these kind of vacations. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it, this was, this was a fucking solid one. So though. good. Oh, watch this. He's been teaching me how he trains in WWE. Watch this. Watch, watch. Nice hit, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we're leaving here today and we're going back to London, mate. KSI's fighting. Stormzy? Swarms. Swarms. <laughs> uh, that's the end of this week's episode. Thanks for coming on vacation with us. Could have just took a vacation. Could have put the camera down. You know, had the lay of the land and ate and enjoyed it. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I love you guys so much. And as always, thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace! When's the last time you had your fucking homie just cuddle you? It's been quite some time. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What the fuck is in that prime bottle? Let me sniff it. You're a sick fuck. You're a <laughs> sick fuck.
Okay, You're so I, listen, I moved, I moved, oh, I moved seats, now I'm here. You drink a little fucking espresso. Ooh, this is very tasty. You can't fucking say that at a time like that, Mike. That little adventure last night cost six G's, buddy. You're gonna pay for what you did in that club. No. Two waters. <laughs> what? George Jenko's a fucking punk. He called me at the box. George, if you're watching this, I'll fucking fight you anytime, anywhere. Any vacation, any luxurious Airbnb we're at, a fucking 7 Eleven parking lot. Whatever you want to do, pal. God damn, I would crawl a mile through shredded glass under barbed wire just to get a sniff of her fart box. I, I don't even know what Angus is. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the night shift. This episode, we're gonna complain the whole time. I'm on vacation spending $50,000. I'm still mad.